five reasons to avoid Class B RVs. It's a controversial issue, but like all types of RVs, Class Bs have reasons to avoid them, and that's what we're talking about today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. And I hope you are interested in Class B RVs because that's what we're talking about. Right before Olivia and I bought this Airstream to renovate, we were on the hunt for our next rig and Class Bs were a very popular style that we were looking at. But there were problems over and over again that we saw among all the Class Bs we looked at that really steered us clear of them. They're great for some people, but for other people, they just won't cut it. If you're not sure what a Class B RV is, basically it's an RV that looks like a van. Quite often it's a Sprinter van. Class Bs are very popular in Europe. Airstream makes some, Leisure Travel Vans makes them. Uh, a lot of different manufacturers here in America make them available. They're known for their mobility, ease to park, and really getting around town and having your home on wheels without having to hassle with towing something behind or taking up a bunch of space. So Class B RVs obviously have their advantages, but today we're talking about the five disadvantages and the five reasons to avoid. Number one, most Class B RVs don't have permanent beds. Now, there are different types of Class Bs, obviously, and some of them do have a permanent bed set up. But one of the things that Olivia and I saw over and over again as we were looking at Class B RVs is that their bed was transformable. So during the day, it turned into a couch and extra seating, and at night, you broke that down and turned it into a bed. Our very first RV was a 16-foot travel trailer. It had a convertible bed. We just left it in bed all the time because it became such a hassle to put it up and down. And so that is why it's our first reason to avoid Class B RVs. We have personal experience with a convertible bed. And for our travel styles, that's not for us. And for a lot of people, it will be a pain in the rear end to change that bed into a couch every single day. The number two reason to avoid a Class B RV is that the bathrooms are tiny and it's just the way it is because Class B RVs are smaller to begin with. You don't have a lot of room to work with everything, so everything's going to be a little more compact in a Class B RV. Quite often, these Class B RVs have a wet bath, which means everything in there will get wet when you take a shower. And that's how it's designed to be made, but it's just uh, your toilet will be wet, your sink will get wet. It's not a problem with the function of it. It's just an issue of if you want your whole bathroom getting wet whenever you take a shower. Uh, and if you're a taller person or a wider person, it can be very hard to get full functionality within a Class B bathroom. So if you like a little extra space in your RV bathroom, this is another reason to avoid a Class B RV. The number three reason to avoid a Class B RV is that you can't drop it off and set up camp and have your camp there for like seven or 14 days. We like to go boondocking. There are 14 day stay limits on boondocking lands. We just drop our trailer, set up camp. We can ride into town in our truck. With Class B RVs, you rarely ever have another form of transportation unless it's a bicycle or a motorcycle, possibly. Most of the Class B RVers that we know just have the Class B RV, and that's how they camp at their campsite, but also get around town. So you're constantly having to break camp. If you own a Class B, I know that you've gotten into habits to make that a lot easier, and it might even be a benefit to you. But for those who aren't familiar yet with Class B travel, this constantly breaking camp to go out into town can be a burden, and it's one of the reasons why we say you should avoid a Class B RV. The number four reason to avoid a Class B RV is very obvious, and that is they don't have a lot of storage. Like most RVs, the space is maximized to the optimum storage potential. There's not a lot of room to work with in a Class B. You'll have a few exterior compartments, and you'll have uh, interior compartments that are hidden all over the place. But when it comes to storing something larger, like a kayak or an uh, e-bike, you can run into challenges. Even something as simple as a propane fire pit, there can be a lack of places to store those items, or at least store two or three of those type of items. 
you're gonna have to minimize what you're carrying around and really focus on what's essential and what's important to bring and how you can fit that into the specialized storage compartments in a class B. It's nothing like a class A, a super C, or even a fifth wheel that have so much storage available. And the number five reason that we think class B RVs should be avoided is that their cost per square foot is very high. Class B RVs, the ones that we toured, can range from 80,000 to 150,000 bucks. And this is for a unit that might be 24 feet long. That's a very expensive price per square foot. You do get a great engine, quite often you get four wheel drive. I'm not saying that it doesn't have value, but I am saying that the price per square foot is very high whenever you put it head to head with a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. Class A motorhomes can be very expensive too, but even those quite often have a lower cost per square foot than a Class B RV does. So those are just a few things to think about, but let me talk about one reason why the Class B RV is awesome. We love going free camping and Class B RVs can access so many free campsites that Class A's can't access, that fifth wheels can't access, and even that small travel trailers can't access. If you have a 4x4 Sprinter Class B, you are bound to be able to take that thing to locations where you have complete privacy and no one else will bug you. So there are huge upsides to it. I, rec I recommend Class B's for the solo traveler, for the adventurous traveler, for someone who really wants to, to get off the grid. And if that sounds like you and your travel style, don't listen to anything I said before because a Class B RV might be for you. Check out these 20 free campsites. They're 20 of our favorite free campsites in America, top left-hand corner of the screen, and uh, you can see where you can take that Class B to camp. Otherwise, we say, hey, look for another type of RV, you can find a better value, and you can still be able to have a lot of the amenities that a Class B offers. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.